What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima Eye Device Vids, and this is Tweak Recap. And as always, I'm going to be showing you guys five of the best city of tweaks that are compatible with the latest version of iOS that is capable of being jailbroken. As of right now, it's 8.1.2, so let's get right into this. So the first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Curia. You can get this one for free, however, you do need a special city repository in order to add this. I will have the source right here in the description down below, and the reason that it requires this is because it's still in beta. However, in my experience, it does work fairly well. I haven't experienced any issues with it, so again, you're going to need to add this source, then search for Curia. And after you have installed it, basically what this tweak allows you to do is it is a uh, tweak that allows you to add quick compose functionality to iOS. So in iOS 8, Apple did add quick reply, and basically what these things are, are quick uh, compose and quick reply allow you to quickly compose a reply to a iMessage text message without actually opening up the full messages application. So up until iOS 8, so iOS 7 and below, it was not possible to do this. However, luckily in iOS 8, Apple added quick reply, however, they did not add quick compose. That's exactly what this tweak does. It adds Quick Compose. So how you work it is you basically just need to open up Activator on your device, and if you don't already have this installed, uh, this tweak will install it automatically. Go to anywhere and choose a gesture. I'm gonna choose the triple press of the home button, and you wanna make sure that you do set it to Curia. Now you're just gonna have to scroll down here, and then you're gonna see it right here, Curia Messages. And once you've done that, to go ahead and perform your gesture just like this, and then you're going to be getting this drop down menu, and this is the Quick Compose. So you could type in any phone number from here you want to um, send a message to. You could also uh, select uh, from any of your recent contacts right here. I'm just going to select this one right here, and here is this uh, Quick Compose interface. And as you can see, it actually displays the previous messages, so the previous conversation, which is really nice. You could, you could even see the timestamps over here, so that's great. And of course, you also have your uh, voice dictation, so you could send that too. So it's you know very very functional, very advanced, and you could send it off just like that. And there it is. I just said that to myself. And now I'm going to show you the uh, quick reply. So as you can see, if we scroll down, we now have an enhanced quick reply. You know, Apple allows you to do this by default, but as you can see, we have the entire conversation. You know, normally by default with quick reply, you swipe down and you just have the ability to have your keyboard and reply, but as you can see, you know, now when you're quick replying, you have the, the ability to view the conversation, uh, the entire conversation as well. And again, you could just quickly reply as you normally would, but again, you see all this context up here, which is very useful. So it just enhances messaging on your device. And if you go into the settings application and scroll down, unfortunately, when you go into Korea, as you can see, there's no options because it's still in beta. Now, eventually this will make its way to the default city of repo, one of them at least. However, as of right now, you just need to add that special source. And I really do like this tweak. It's a good way to enhance the messaging functionality on your device, and I do recommend it. And one last thing, I just want to show you that it does work on the lock screen. If you swipe over here, as you normally would in iOS, and select Reply, as you can see, you also have, again, all this context, right, uh, context uh, right here on the lock screen. And, of course, as you can see, it works the exact same way. Once again, it's available in Cydia for free on the repo that is in the description down below. And next up, we have Lock Blur. This one's available in Cydia for free, and this tweak will allow you to, as the name suggests, it's going to allow you to blur your lock screen. As you can see right here, I have this nice blurred effect on my lock screen, and it's as if I had a notification, because by default, when you do get a notification, it does blur it. But as you can see, this is just the way it is by default. You know, of course, when you slide to unlock, as you can see, it's going to unblur, of course, with the normal wallpaper, but it's a very subtle effect, but I really like it. You can control how blurry it is if you go into settings and scroll down to... The panel for lock blur going there and of course uh, to the right is more blurry to the left less blurry and I also just want to show you what the passcode screen looks like as well with this tweak okay so I just enabled a passcode and as you can see when I slide it unlock it just does what it normally does it dims the you know lighting of the wallpaper a little bit and by default it actually does blur when you slide to unlock however again this tweak just adds blur there you know as is normal without even sliding to unlock or without getting a notification it'll just make it blurry and in the settings, you can disable the passcode dim, as I was just talking about. If you want, you could just toggle this on and hit respring. So now, as you can see, when I slide to unlock, it's very unified, and I actually like this a lot better. I do recommend that you do disable the dim, because it just makes it more unified when you slide to unlock like this. You know, it just looks very, very nice, you know, when you touch the buttons as well. It's just a very nice look. And once again, this is available in Cydia for free. It's called Lock Blur. And up next, we have Lithium. This one's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak will bring a customized battery indicator to your device, as you can see right there. 
Now, there is a tweak already available out there. It's called um, Alkaline that allows you to do this. However, some people have been reporting that it doesn't work properly on their device on iOS 8. So this is an alternative that is built with iOS 8 and all the newest devices in mind. So if you are experiencing issues with Alkaline and you want to, you know, resolve those problems and still have a customizable battery indicator this is definitely a tweak for you personally i have not experienced any issues with that however you know some people have depending on the device that you install it on and how you use this tweak is basically you go into settings on your device and scroll down until you do see a lithium then you're going to go in there um there we go and of course you can enable or disable it and then under that we have themes so there are two themes by default in here and this is the one you're looking at right now the habisha one so basically, as you can see by the little preview here, you know, as your battery gets less and less uh, full, as you can see, the little uh, pill-shaped things will basically uh, go blank. And as you can see, there is a half section, so that basically they can be half full depending on your battery status. And there is another one called LBI, and it's very small. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in on that right there, focus in on it. As you can see, it has the uh, battery percentage, as a matter of fact, right in there. And I actually do prefer that one because the Habisha one's a little bit, I don't know, not that conclusive. However, the LBI one is very small. And just keep in mind, if you do want to use the Habisha one, the one that I'm using right now, you can enable battery percentage. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I turned it off, but as you can see, if you just enable it, it will show just fine right there. So you could use them in conjunction with each other. However, if you use the HBI one, the one that I'm going to show you how to do now, uh, it's best without battery percentage because it's kind of repetitive because uh, the HBI one by default is a battery percentage. So I'm just going to change it to that. And by de uh, after you change anything, you will need to respring. I'm just going to use an activator action. I have one set when I press the volume buttons, both of them at the same time, it resprings. But you could respring however you want. And again, after this, the changes will take an effect. And the change just took an effect. As you can see right here, up in my uh, battery indicator, it does have the percentage. It says 80%. And again, you can use this in conjunction with battery or with the battery percentage, but it really doesn't make any sense because it is a percentage. And it is very accurate just to show you if I do enable battery percentage, as you can see, it's 80, 80. It's the exact same thing. It's completely accurate. It gets it right from the battery percentage. But again, it's a little bit smaller. But who knows? Maybe you prefer it small for whatever reason. And then once again, this tweak is called Lithium. It's a very good tweak. It allows you to customize that battery indicator. And once again, it's available in Cydia for free. And also, I am assuming that in the future, there's going to be add-ons for the theme section of Lithium. So other developers are going to be able to create their own battery themes or other themers for that matter. And, you know, when you install them, they'll just appear in here. However, as of right now, there's nothing in Cydia, as far as I can tell, at least, um, that will go into here that you could install. However, again, you have these two for now. But again, hopefully in the future, uh, other designers and themers will create new ones. And next we have You Fade Me Up. It's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak is a very subtle change to the app switcher. And what it does is basically when you swipe up on an application in the app switcher to kill it, as you can see, the application's icon down here will fade, as you can see, as you swipe, just like this. And if you release, as you can see, of course, it's going to kill the application. Same thing goes for sliding down. I'm not sure why you would slide down, because that doesn't do anything by default, as you can see. It doesn't do anything at all. But again, swiping up, it gives you that nice, subtle effect of the application fading. It's, you know, it's not incredibly practical, but it's a very nice effect, very subtle, that good attention to detail. There's no settings they configure, it just works. And once again, it's called You Fade Me Up. It's available in Cydia for free. And last but not least is Type Tab. This one's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak allows you to save a little bit of time when you're opening up new tabs in Safari. So as you can see right here, I have this one tab open. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab. So I'm going to select the little plus. And as you can see, the keyboard comes up just like that. By default, that does not happen. But as you can see, it just comes right up and I'm ready to type in just like this. You know, no problems at all. And it does save you a lot of time. It's something that's extremely small. However, again, it just adds up over time if you're constantly opening new tabs as you can see like this again the keyboard comes up immediately you don't have to tap at the top like you normally would and again it just saves you you know a few seconds of time which does add up and once again this tweak's called type tab it's available in Cydia for free and that's all for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later